So what makes a relationship toxic? And is what's toxic the same to everyone? Uh, we all know how this goes. Uh, we about to find out. I brought a couple friends through to help answer that question. So let's see what they and you think. All right, so I brought you guys here uh, for a very uh, distinct purpose, uh, being toxic. Oh, wow. Uh, specifically in relationship. I'm not saying that there's y'all are toxic yet, but we're gonna find yes. out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm the nicest person ever. Oh, sure, Kat. I'm so nice and kind. Can you change your ways, Kat? I thought once a toxic, always a toxic. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, we'll see. I will give you guys a scenario. You will tell me if this is a toxic relationship on a scale of zero to four. Now, the thing Why about- Why four? Why not five? Why four? So, the thing about, like, like toxic relationships are super duper subjective. All right, so it's going to be based off the chance of a relationship being toxic. So how this will work, I'm gonna pit y'all with a scenario and then uh, on a scale of zero to four, you'll tell me if it's toxic. Zero being there is zero chance of this being toxic. One, meaning there's a low chance of this being toxic. Two, there's a medium chance of this being toxic and so on and so forth. Three, high chance. Four, it is fully, it is definitely 100%, no doubt, toxic, okay? All right, sounds good. good. I don't know if we're good or not, but we'll see what happens. Whenever you have a disagreement with your partner, they try to peer into how you feel. If you're down, they might say you're overreacting or maybe say you're being- mm, I got a lot of feelings about this. I'm triggered. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna need a little more context. I don't... So it's every time. Let's say at least half. Nah, not for me. Yeah, four, same, not for me either. Four, I already have my answer. Bye. See ya. Wait, wait, why, why four? Because that's manipulative. They're not taking into account what you're going through and they're not actually listening. Mm -hmm. I know the word gaslighting gets thrown around a lot, but it's l it's quite literally gaslighting when you tell someone, oh, you're constantly overreacting. Um, oh, if you're sad, you know, it's not valid. You're just like over overthinking it and you're just like crazy I'm, or I'm whatever. I'm interpreting peer into emotions in a different way. You're acting a certain way and, and they're interpreting it, uh, interpreting it a certain way and they're telling you. That. Oh, so they're saying, I think no. you're being like this. They're saying, yo, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're feeling like that because this happened, yo. You're or overreacting right now, stuff like that. I am a hard, thick four on I, this one. I oh, who hurt you? A thick what four. I can feel the trauma. <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. Four. <laughs> it's a four. Yo, Kurt's just it's trying to make us be sad four. at night. We're gonna be, we're all gonna be trying to fall asleep and just be like, doo -doo, like just sad piano music and rain noises yes. is what we're gonna see. I will, I will probably <laughs> give it a three. But to play toxic advocate, I will toxic say this. Toxic advocate? Yeah, Kurt's wearing are, a hat and it says toxic yeah. advocate. He wears it thing, wherever he goes. Danny, can you draw Kurt's shirt looking like that? <laughs> so like a toxic, toxic, toxic advocate. Toxicity toxic advocate. Yo, okay, if you don't make that into merchandise, if you don't make that into merchandise, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> so this is like, this sounds bad. Gaslighting's bad, but. But? <laughs> but? Here, here but. Stick with me here. I know I'm sounding wild. Gaslighting is inherently bad but people sometimes i feel like people might feel that they've been gaslit when in reality i am telling you how you are mm -hmm. gaslighting is also very subjective i could mm -hmm. be tripping there's been times i've been tripping and someone called me out for it but i was like nah but there's been other times where i have been gaslit i do think though that gaslighting is intentional though you could be manipulating without knowing it but gaslighting is a very specific thing and i feel like that that is with intention well, at least for this proper situation mm -hmm. gaslighting got brought up and for yeah. this situation we do not know for sure right gaslighting was never used so i gotta give it it sounds like gaslighting but in a lot of situations if someone's telling you how you are i don't think it's always with negative intent so i gotta give it a three maybe a two uh so katie and kat what, it, what would you guys consider this for you and your numbers i'm a little stuck then I did a good job. <laughs> Kurt Ritchie, toxicity advocate. No. Gaslighting no, advocate. Yeah, I think you did a good I'm job. Uncomfy. All right, I guess I can go. I would give it a three. And the reason I'm not giving Let's it a go. four is I'm not, I promise I'm not copying y'all, but I was like, I know that like, I guess saying like, oh, you're like crazy, you're overreacting, but it's like, I have seen like relationships where maybe one party is like oh my gosh i saw you say hi to that person you must be in love with them and then i feel like then that's like appropriate to say like you're overreacting i was just saying thank you to the the cash register person yeah and so i think that like saying the phrase like you're overreacting isn't always necessarily like crazy yeah. but i still gave it a three because i think 
like thinking in the worst situation most people say like you're overreacting you're crazy and like i guess for me i'm thinking mm. of like cheating allegations and so i think it saying that phrase is like a super high probability but not necessarily 100 percent. so that's All why right, i'm giving I'm it, it to cat and crew gaslighting advocates <laughs> Let's wow, go. way to way to way to ditch us, I, cat. As gaslighting advocate Kurt Ritchie, you I told someone they were overreacting today <laughs> and I knew I was right. I said I also <laughs> it depends on how you say it. It depends it depends how you say it. If you it's say it in a playful way, like, oh come on, blood, like you're overreacting, but if nah, you're like, you're like you're over overreacting, overreacting and I'm right. Like it depends on the way and the tone. It's not what and you say, all that it's stuff. how you say it. I'm gonna say it really angry, and then and then everyone's gonna be upset. I'm like, why are you booing? I'm right. <laughs> yeah, why of course. That's the Kurt Ritchie way. Uh, okay, okay. Um, oh, Take your time. Okay, I, a one. <laughs> it's not a one. Okay. It's a zero. It's a four. It's a four. No, no. Katie thinks it's a zero, guys. I know her. I would never gaslight her. To add some balance. Him saying he never gaslights you is gas he's gaslighting. <laughs> he's gaslighting. While saying yeah, he's not Kat, like, what do you think? You think I'm gaslighting? You think I'm doing that somehow? You think I'm manipulating you to think a certain way? That's crazy. I think it's like a 2.5. Like right That's in the middle. not what you think. Shut up, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think it's a 2.5. Here's the thing. Again, I agree with like Jen. It depends on like how they're saying it. If they're saying it like with the with the intention like of making you feel bad, then it uh, then it's higher. But I feel like if they're saying like putting judgment statements on your feelings and your emotions, it could be that they it's just an indicator that they don't understand the situation. But in terms of like gaslighting, I would say that's definitely not as not as healthy in a relationship. So that's my perspective. <laughs> gaslighting isn't that bad guys. Hey. Okay. Professor and that's, Kurt. And that's the <laughs> <Canadian way. laughs> Yo, I can't wait to put a gaslighting advocate on a t-shirt and y'all buy it. Uh, oh, I'm not buying that. <laughs> I do. I'm just wearing it out. Next up. Next up. Your partner isn't isn't very positive but not necessarily very negative either. In, in fact, they're just matter of fact. You ask them for their thoughts, they're very blunt such as they might so they might say you look terrible in that or i really hate your new haircut or i hate the way you do your makeup but um they're also positives as well they're also very matter of fact is this toxic that's a one i'm giving it a zero i don't think it's I toxic don't think that's at all toxic. i think that's just their personality yeah that's just personality there's like no intent to be hurtful i think that's like some people don't have a social awareness or have like really low like emotional intelligence yeah. And I think some people, okay, this is gonna sound mean. Maybe some people can never like- Uh oh, uh oh, Gosh, time to gaslight it. with Kat. Say it. Ooh, I'm excited. Maybe say some it, people it, can never it. like <laughs> improve out of that and they might just be like that forever. But I don't think that makes a relationship toxic. I'm also going to give it a zero. Thank you, toxicity advocate. <laughs> uh, Kat, me personally, I love someone who might be more blunt. Mm -hmm. Yo, if I look yeah. ugly, tell me. Please, yeah. don't let me walk outside. Do not gas me up. Although I- We will gas, gas you up all the time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Not, hey, you stupid piece is, of trash. You don't work enough. I always prefer a, like a real, a, like a real honest blunt person who might seem a bit more mean than someone who's fake nice all the time. Yeah. Then I will, yeah. then this, yeah, this kind of leads into the, this kind of leads into the next one since yes. we all pretty much gave zero. Yeah. yeah. This person um will off is the opposite of the last person and it is more opt hide the truth from you in order yeah. to preserve your feelings so they might be like you look great when you don't although with the, they have a uh, better see i think that's worse yeah you're doing a disservice i think that's definitely worse There's, i mean definitely yeah. you, sh you should be considerate about people's feelings and the way that you phrase things but if you're ly lying to them all the time just to make them feel good you're gonna do them a disservice isn't that like inflating grades or something so what's your number what's your numbers what's y'all's numbers i'm giving it to yeah, zero it to i don't think it's toxic really? at all because i think for like my definition of toxicity it's like like two people in a relationship trying to like get at each other or like mm. tear them down or yeah. and i think like this person it's like not i don't think it's like gonna benefit you at the end but i think when i think of toxicity i kind of think of like malicious intent to like mm -hmm. egg someone on or like make them mad i don't think it's toxic i think someone it's just like being like overly nice to preserve someone's ego but i think that that does sound like it is out of like an intent to like protect them and so yeah. i don't think that like counts as toxicity to me i think it's like it's its own problem but it's not a toxic relationship so to me i would say i would actually say it too 
because I, I agree with you to an extent, but I think someone can be toxic without the intent to be toxic. To me, being toxic yeah. is like, is yeah. harmful behavior yeah. that, that yeah. might affect your partner. So while mm -hmm. I think being blunt, although can be irritating, isn't toxic because you are ultimately telling me the truth, although it is packaged a certain way, I appreciate that. While lying to me in any form, even if it's for a positive, messes with how we feel about ourselves and myself, how I feel about me. Mm -hmm. And then I'll always be questioning what's happening in this relationship and therefore I see it as toxic because now it has harmed my perception of myself and how I take people's word of value. It's it's maybe like a one, maybe one and a half. Lower it, and lower your score. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm a toxicity <laughs> advocate, okay? Of course, there's, there's some extent to that. Like I remember, um, <laughs> this is like more so in terms of just like family and friendship and stuff. But in, mm -hmm. uh, do you guys know how like your, your parents always would be like, oh, I'm not sure if you guys, parents were like this but my parents like, even if i did something which wasn't that great my parents would always be like this is a really good job like good job with this like they were really happy with nah, that was my parents it depends on what it turns out it depends. that was my entire elementary school education they would give us awards for everything exactly we did. I, I sort of like came to that realization like i think i did like a history a report for history and I got something like really low in it. And then like, I was like, oh, but my mom checked it. And she said it was really good. And then my teacher was like, well, you know, your parents lie all well, the time. Your mom sucks. Yeah, she was like, your, your parents lie all the time. Well, and then your I went mom to speak to my, to my mom about it. But I was like, oh, yeah, mom, you were just doing that to make my feelings. But it was like, no, I wasn't. I actually thought it was really good. Like, and then no, she gaslit no, no, you. Oh, I love your mom. Was it was the right thing to do. She was like, wow, what an awful teacher for saying how I'm feeling. So I think there's like, the, see the, da the danger in this, uh, in the like, oh, the, someone being fake nice to you, is that some people actually are that nice, you know? Some people might not be, might just be honest, in the same way as some people might be just super blunt about everything negative and positive. Some people just view everything in a really positive light and don't really, aren't that really negative uh, as people. What's everyone's proper scores for the second one then? We, Kat, you sticking with your zero? I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stick I'm, to the I'm zero. At my, I'm gonna say one and a half. Yeah, I, you, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say zero because I feel like, oh well, maybe like zero. zero point five maximum one. Oh. Can I do a point nine? Sure. All right, it's a real point number <laughs> <laughs> because it can be toxic, especially if because when you first you know gave us this prompt, this specific one, the first thing I thought of was a young person, like I thought of a high schooler. Or like mm -hmm. someone who doesn't have a lot of experience and someone with or, or, and or someone with low self-esteem but let's say this is like a fully experienced adult and there's a chance that maybe they maybe they could be manipulating you by saying you know you yeah. you are doing something right when really you're doing something wrong like there's that chance which is why i gave it that point nine but I I think it's mostly it mostly stems from inexperience and low self-esteem. Still a one point five. Like I get where you're coming, but it's still a one point. Alright. It's still a one point. Alright, yeah, yeah, I can see that. It's <laughs> still a one point five to be fair. I'm liking these I trust moles. people too much. I, Maybe I, just a little. Same here. Same here. Yeah. Y'all, I hate people. I hate people and trust hate it them here. at the same time. I hate How? It Why? I love that people. is a bad I like that. I'm gonna <laughs> gaslight you on purpose. No! <laughs> oh, man, I made a mistake. <laughs> okay. Made a great All mistake. Right. We made a mistake answering this call. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of toxic behavior, uh, I'm a big liar. Uh, Y'all know that. That was especially true in elementary, double especially when it came to those weekly required readings they made us. I mean, like, look, who has time to be reading, bro? I got stuff to do as a child. But then eventually I actually read something and learned books are good why and as i got older that all still kind of stuck i continued to like stories and books but also didn't have time to read and also continued to lie to people about actually reading and eventually i found the solution to enjoy stories but not actually read them and it's pretty much free if you can see where I'm going with this, this video was sponsored by Audible. So if you didn't know, Audible is the premier place to get your fix of audiobooks, podcasts, and more. And Audible has this thing called Audible Premium Plus, which gives you unlimited listening access to Audible's catalog of hundreds of titles. And in this membership, it gives you free credit for any title in their entire premium selection, which are yours to keep forever. No one will take them from you. 
they're yours, membership or not. And there's a 30 day free trial of Audible Premium Plus if you use my link in the description. I mean, even if you decide not to keep Audible, you're getting a free audiobook. So I'm not encouraging you to listen to your reading assignments for free. Uh, but Audible Premium Plus, I'm just saying. But not only that, Audible knows what you're about, and when you get your trial, Audible will send you an email before it ends in case you want to cancel, so no accidental charges. Me personally, I've been using Audible to listen to a long time recommended to me, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which although makes me feel even more broke than I already am, it is truly a motivating story. So if you want to support the channel and help yourself out to a lot of good content, and free content wherever you want to be visit audible.com forward slash kurt ritchie or text kurt ritchie to 500 500 once again to get a one month free trial of audible visit audible.com forward slash kurt ritchie or text kurt ritchie to 500 500 thank you again audible. oh what's up y'all yo uh what's good it's me kurt ritchie living in filth uh richie how you guys doing yo thank you so much for watching that video i really appreciate it thank you also to the guests i had on uh all their socials are in the description uh and if you like that one yo i i really think you'll like more of these series like i did uh one not too long ago what was it what was it that i did hold up what did i do oh yeah i did one not too long ago about if body count mattered that one was wild i know y'all like uh talking about peepees and whatnot so we talk about that over there yo so please check out that video if you enjoyed this one um but i really don't have that much other than yo much love as always to my patron supporters i really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart like seriously i, I can't do this without y'all so if you want to support the channel please check out the patreon like seriously but that's all i got yo much love for watching i will catch you guys on the next one